So you consider yourself a theatre goer. Have you ever seen a play written by an African woman? Why do you think that is? In 2015, researchers at Warwick University began the African Women's Playwrights Network to connect African women playwrights with each other and with the world. Hi, my name is Pelisi Wetwenstra. I am a playwright, theatre director and actor from Durban, South Africa. My name is Uluato Seko Shimatsume. I'm a Nigerian playwright and theatre creator. Um, this is me. This is Naoki Biditwe. I come all the way from Botswana. It's in Southern Africa. My name is Sophia Mempu Kwachu. Now these playwrights are being published and their plays are being performed for audiences around the globe. Look back at the history of Africa the writers who are renowned at the time of the African writer, writer series, Ngugi wa Thiongo, Wali Soinga, Shinua Achebe, were all male. And that's why it's women, because African Women Playwright Network is trying to close that gap and saying, yes, we have women storytellers or African women storytellers as well. Traitors! Traitors! These are the haters of their kind! I think for me, uh, the major ways in which the African Women Playwright Network has been helpful and supportive is um, one, building this network of African women theatre makers who I can uh, get suggestions from whenever I have challenges or celebrate a triumph with, but at the same time also um, exposing me to plays that I wouldn't have had access to and writers that I wouldn't, or women writers that I wouldn't have had access to if I were not a member. And the adulterer shall surely be put to <laughs> I don't believe ah was a part of the scripture. Forgive, forgive me, first lady. It really does help a lot to encourage us, to push us, to make us continue with the journey and do the work that, it, that needs to be done, the work that is very important to do. Because then otherwise, um, we'll all just get lost in our little world and feel small and feel scared and feel like we're not making any difference. And then we don't have women's voices out there that our stories are then all told by men. What about us? What? My play was put on in Cape Town in a sort of lo-fi production and Amy, who is part of African Women Playwright Network, um, got in touch with me and said, Sara, could you send me your play? I'd like to consider it for this new anthology. Uh, so I did and that's how it got published. You should have made him masturbate. But that's not what happened. Who cares what actually happened? That was the scene, that was the moment where you grabbed the pencil and... I want to tell the truth. It's a fucking comic! No one cares about the truth. The network has been really beneficial to me. Being from Egypt, it's so hard to connect for, with people because it's such a closed place. And, and, and when you come from places which are quite, have quite intense regimes, quite closed off governments, 
which make it hard for people to come in, hard for people to move out. It's a joy to be able to, to know about what's going on in other parts of, of the continent and I think the network is a big part of that for me. There's so much the African continent has to offer and I feel it's important to know what's going on there and I feel it's important to, know, to, to listen to women's voices because, because we haven't for so long. A lot of the times people kind of go, where are the black women playwrights, theatre makers? Um, people like to do that just because the work is not visible as it should be all the time. And so I think what the network does is to make visible what people want to make invisible. In our parents' graves and ours, we grieve in spit. May the dead never wink at us in our coffins nor haunt us while we are breathing. African Women's Playwright Network is the first platform that has published one of the works that I've written, which, as a South African, young South African black woman playwright, that's really rare. You know, a lot of us don't get published. Most of us don't get published at all. Jehovah Jireh, Jireh, the Lord who provides, provider. the Lord who sees, sees. what a walker, wine maker, <laughs> Jehovah Nice Night. I think the Jehovah world needs to see theatre from Africa because the image of African narratives has been distorted for a very long time and not been told by the people who are at the center of that narrative. And so I think for the first time, people who own those narratives can tell those narratives from their own voices. Theatre in Africa is brilliant and this is genuine. Look at you. You are a beauty. You just need to gain a bit of flesh. You go to the shops and parade your ass. Surely by tomorrow morning, you will be gone. And I will be sleeping in my brother's bed. The African Women Players Network Facebook page is very useful to me. Uh, it's just part of my life. I make sure that every day I have to go there and see what, it, what is there, what other women in other places are doing, in other can African countries are doing, to find out whether they, I can get opportunities. Because now and again, they post opportunities that uh, you can either apply or learn from them. Especially in Africa where there are no links at all compared to other European countries where you found there are many networks that writers can meet and collaborate, but in Africa they are, it's rare. For me, if this network never existed, I, w I don't think I would have achieved all that I have achieved so far. The African Women Playwright Network just gave us a lifetime chance that we never had come by. It's a fact I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have my play published. The African Women Playwright Network connects you to the global world. It links you to, to um, theatre companies you, you never knew existed. It, um, it brings you closer to the real world of theatre making and it empowers you as, a, as an African woman. After four years of this project where we started really struggling to access writers, to where we're now working with over 300 participants, people are saying to me, so how did you do this? And the answer is a combination of working with online platforms, mobile app, where we accessed women across the continent, asked them to join us, share their work, their ideas, their questions, their processes, and things that were getting in the way of their work. Then we facilitated face-to-face -face encounter at a symposium in Cape Town at the Arts Admin Collective, 
where people in embodied ways workshopped these questions that had come that we processed as researchers. And together, in a reciprocal way, we worked through not only the questions, but potential solutions, which for me as a researcher was really interesting because things that came out were not what I expected, which suggested different ways of creating knowledge, a kind of co-creation of knowledge. And the women found trust and were able to collaborate in much more meaningful ways after the symposium. One of the best outcomes has been the collection of new plays by women from seven African countries. This work is really exciting because it's innovative, it's asking difficult questions, but in quirky and funny ways that is provocative, but also inclusive of really diverse audiences. And this has been exciting for researchers, but also for educators who can now access this new material. We've had organizations coming to us saying, how can we work with you? So the Canadian Guild of Playwrights have brought forward money to mentor writing. Theatres in South Africa are offering spaces to work with women to actually stage these plays. And so we're seeing a momentum to this work with these kinds of organizations saying, how can we roll out this network? At Pulling Buttonhole Theatre Company, we wanted to do a season that we were calling Outside Us, which was focused on non-American playwrights and non-American stories. Uh, we knew that we wanted to do a piece from a country or a continent that we didn't hear much from. And the more I explored the idea of doing African stories, the more I was really drawn to it. But there aren't a lot of resources um, out there to find African authors. I happened to find the African Women's Playwriting Network uh, Facebook page and I put out a request uh, and had several really, really wonderful authors contact us and just fell in love with Adang Judas' work and with Tembe Moyo's work and decided that we needed to do an evening of one act so that we could showcase both women. There's a need for the African Women's Playwrights Network because it gives these incredibly talented women the exposure that they aren't getting through more traditional means and it allows those of us who are looking for them to find them. And I got a call for submissions of plays by the AWPN and I sent in a play, you know, they were asking for plays that uh, specifically talk about uh, African women. I sent in a play titled, Not That Woman. And luckily for me, the play got uh, selected and was published. The African Women Playwright Network is such a huge project that is so, so creative, so encouraging, and has enhanced my professional career a lot. I had one of my plays, Bonganyi, published. Through AWPN, I was able to become a better writer. And what do I mean by that? That I'm no longer alone. I am connected to many, many, many creatives around the continent. When it comes to the African Women's Playwright Network, this has been such and a life-changing and even inspirational platform for me as a young woman and a young African woman because we need more platforms and we need more opportunities where we can connect as artists, where we can connect as women and just share our stories, share our struggles, share our rewards, not just to boost our careers or to boost our portfolios, but to also empower each other and empower the generation that is coming after us. Theatre goer, is it now time for you to see a play written by an African woman? <laughs>